One question I commonly get in class is, Doctor, how often do I need to trim my goat's feet? A lot of this depends on the part of the country in which you live and where your goats are going to be. Goats that walk across mountains and rocks and hard abrasive surfaces like sand out in the desert southwest, um, their feet stay pretty good on their own. These hard surfaces tend to wear this hoof off into a very nice normal looking foot. Goats that are pastured in areas where they get a lot of rainfall with lush pastures and wet soft ground tend not to wear this hoof wall off and then it tends to overgrow and they're called upon to trim their goat's feet. So there are some pre breed differences about um, how the goat's feet grow and then also nutrition. Goats that are fed really well tend to grow a lot more hoof wall than goats that are on a, a pasture or maintenance type diet. But regardless the type of uh, terrain that your goats are in or what breed you own, you're going to be called upon from time to time to trim the feet on some goats. This pair of hoof trimmers is uh, kind of the industry standard for trimming feet on goats. Uh, feet on goats can be trimmed with horse nippers, uh, hoof knives, pocket knives, angle grinders, rasp, but this is about the easiest, safest, and most effective method and tool for trimming a goat's foot. We're going to move around to the back here and show you a typical foot on an aged doe and this is usually the scenario that happens that puts a producer in a situation to need to know how to trim a foot. This doe hasn't been on enough hard abrasive surfaces that it would wear her hoof down. You'll notice that the toe on the left has been trimmed. This is a normal toe and looks real good. She's in good shape to walk. The toe on the right however hasn't been trimmed and it hasn't worn off and it's starting to overgrow and turn and roll this toad where this doe is going to walk incorrectly and if left untreated may in fact cause her to be lame or crippled in the future. The first thing we want to do when we're um, trimming a goat's foot is identify the sole of the foot or this white spongy area that's on the inside of the hoof wall that surrounds the toe. So what we like to do is run run something down through here on top of the sole and pare out all this um, manure or dirt that's been impacted in here and identify the sole, the soft spongy area of the foot because all of the hoof wall above that can be cut off with absolutely no consequence since that you won't be getting into the sensitive blood filled areas of the sole. I'm cutting off all of the excess hoof wall And as one can see, we can really expose the sole now. The sole is soft white. As you pare down through the sole, it will turn clear and then it will start to turn pink as we get into the quick. We can continue to cut this a little bit more. If we get a cooperating goat, we'll continue to pare off more of the hoof wall. And this is what we like to see as an end product. A goat that's hoof walls flush with the sole, the toes aren't rolling over, and the bulb of the heel here is also trimmed off flat such that the foot hits square on the ground. This will prevent injuries, lamenesses, and potentially prevent a foot rot situation from happening due to impacted mud and manure between the hoof wall and the sole. <laughs>